hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus 3 square root is equals to x and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here we find all the roots of this equation and, at the, uh, and uh, i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the solution of this problem so here the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to remove this square root sign from left hand side uh, so in order to remove this square root sign we need to take a squaring on both of the sides so when you will take squaring it will be written as in this form and now here further you see that this 2 and this square root are gone and we get x minus 3 is equals to this is our x square and further in the next step we need to move this x minus 3 to the right hand side and it will becomes x square this is plus x becomes a minus x and this is minus 3 becomes plus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so you see here this equation will becomes quadratic in x variable and we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is a factorization method second one is completing square and third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here we apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so uh, for quadratic formula we first write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1 and c is equals to 3 so these are the three coefficients of the given equation and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and further in the next step we have uh, we need to substitute all the values of a b and c in this formula and it will become this is minus b the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 3 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 so further in the next step we have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 1 and plus minus square root of minus 1 square and minus 1 square becomes plus 1 minus this is 4 times of 3 becomes 12 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and uh, further in the next step we need more simplifications here and we get this is 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 12 is equals to minus 11 and it is divided by 2 so here we need to uh, uh, separate the square root on both of these terms so when you apply uh, square root separately on both of these values it will be written as 1 plus minus square root of 11 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so further in the next step we have x is equals to 1 plus minus square root of 11 into here we have this is the square root of minus 1 and we know about that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so here you see that we get uh, there are two complex or imaginary roots of the given equation uh, so we write both of these roots uh, separately here so we get x1 is equals to 1 plus square root of 11 iota divided by 2 this is the our first root and x2 is equals to 1 minus square root of 11 iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the two solutions or two roots of the given equation so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos